Hi, in this video I would like to explain you how you can display results on 2D parts. They are possible with ISO lines, ISO bands, with numbers and how you can define the results and how you can display it. This is the topic of this video. My name is Ivan Beles and I am support engineer for C Engineer and Idea Statica. Now we are in ST Engineer. I have a very small structure which I use sometimes at uh, the trainings. And we go to the results. For example, the bending moments. I will activate only two plates with Ctrl E to display the results only on these two plates. And um, where it will be defined is this one point, and this is the point about uh, we will talk in this video. The results are a little bit different depending on this location. So if you select in centers, you have another possibilities. If you select in nodes, doesn't matter which one, you have another possibilities a little bit. And there is one special setting for deformations and one for reinforcement. So I will try to explain all these things. So first I go to in nodes average on macro. This is the standard uh, setting for the location of the results. And we go to refresh and to drawing setup. And here you can change everything for the results. So the first one is one color. So you can define one color and uh, you know at the colors uh, you have different possibilities how you can define a color. You can use uh, RGB, for example, uh, red, green and blue, but you can use uh, HSL. This is uh, hue, saturation and luminance. So, and this, if you use one color in the engineer, that means that the saturation will be changed. So I select this. Uh, some of these blue colors, I don't know this one, and then refresh, and then you see the results in this one color, and look from top on view. So this was with one color. There is a second one which is not very often used. This is this smooth displaying it's on only nice colors. Uh, what is interesting here is that you can use uh, two colors. Draw isoline and for positive and negative values, if we have zero, we can see the difference. For example, you have reinforcement, you can set a line for the minimal reinforcement and everything which is below or uh, above the minimal reinforcement will get this one of these two colors. Then there are isolines. I don't very use very often use the isolines uh, because because they don't have the uh, labels. There is another setting where you get the labels, but this one don't have it. Maybe it's interesting for somebody don't get so much numbers on your screen. Uh, but for the ISO lines and the smooth representation, you can change the color. So if I turn it off, then I have nice colors. So, But the most selected uh, definition is with these ISO bands. So I have only the standard settings, refresh, look from the top view on it. So, and we can change everything here. Drawing setup again, so we will go very often in these drawing setups. You can change everything in these advanced settings, everything which is possible, of course. So for example, I don't have the labels. I have only the lines without numbers, so I want to have the numbers. Activate them, OK, refresh, then I get the numbers. Uh, this is the standard uh, rounded palette. That means from minimum maximum there is some rounded uh, values. Uh, but you can change to user defined values. Then you go to advanced settings and you can define your own numbers. You can define your own colors 
you can generate them from parameters. For example, maximum is, I don't know, 60, step is 10, and we have 16 of them. So, and this is generated, and now we have step of 10 kilonewton meters. So you can define it, and you can save these palettes. So you can save it, you can select one file, results 2D, for example, and save it somewhere on your computer. Write the name of the palette, for example, mway from minus 100 to 60 kilonewton meter. So you can use it, for example, for the reinforcement. And if you, you need it later, you can simply select it and open your settings. Okay. Then, okay, this is everything uh, for this advanced settings. I'm quicker than in the German video. <laughs> uh, there is uh, one interesting thing which you will probably use, and these are these local extreme values. I go to local maximum, for example, and if you use it, then you can use this smart description and only sharp extremes. What is smart description? You get for each uh, extreme value, uh, you get some label, and the label with the higher number will overlap the label with the smaller number. So if you have negative values, then the higher negative. So in absolute, so for example, you have minus 20, minus 30, you will see the minus 30 value if you have more values one over the another. And this can happen if you zoom, for example. So you see there is nothing such, but we have these values uh, relatively close together. So I would like to see this minus five. So if I zoom back, then I should see this. What do I see? Minus nine, 28. So this is the maximum number. And you see here is 17 and 20. So the 20 is over the 70. So not so good results to display it, but it's okay. So uh, this is the maximum numbers. These ISO bands can be used also to display ISO lines, which I prefer because there are ISO lines, labeled ISO lines, but there you don't have user-defined palette. So if you want to have your palette and also ISO lines, then you go to the ISO bands, advanced settings, and then you can change from field to ISO lines and number of inserted. What does it mean? We get uh, one ISO line, which is with black color, with the, with the num numbers, with the labels, and between 70 and 80, we get one ISO line, which is inserted without labels, but with color. So you have then everything you get a label at black ISO lines and between them without labels with colors. So refresh. It's I think it's it's nice. You have a good combination of of everything. So this is everything about in nodes. Now we switch to centers. If you switch from nodes in centers or back, then you have to refresh first and then you can go to drawing setup. And if you are in the drawing setup, you can change one color colors. I have explained it. So, and there are also numbers. That's nice. Used for, is used for reinforcement, for example. You can save this picture to DWG or the XF file, 2D or 3D, save it and use it in your drawing software, for example, to draw uh, as, as a background for drawing of reinforcement. But I really don't like these numbers. They are sometimes this yellow color is not very good visible. And sometimes in this CAD software, you have a black, uh, white paper, so you don't see it very good. So I found out there is this three colors with numbers. So these are not three colors with numbers. These are numbers with three colors. And then you can define your colors. So for example, if I want to have everything black, then I select this black, for example, 
uh, this is not black, this is black. I, for example, you can select, I will select everything black and, uh, and then simply display the results. Then you have everything in black color. But I want to see the maximum in red color, for example. Drawing setup, I say everything about 20 kilonewton meters is red. And for example, I am not interested on values below five kilonewton meters, so you can then change it to, for example, it doesn't matter which color you say five and say don't show the values below five. So, for example, you have reinforcement, and on this way you can easily turn off all reinforcement below minimum reinforcement, or minimum reinforcement can be turned off, or or below minimum, whatever, whatever you want. So, and that's all here. So what is then, uh, we have two special things. One is for reinforcement. If you go to the reinforcement and if you display provided reinforcement with this number of uh, uh, bars and diameter of bars, then so first we have some, ah, this is the standard setting, okay. Then in drawing setup, you can change to this reinforcement to the design. And then you get this nice legend where you have the diameter and distance, everything according your template, which you have defined. So this is my template, which I have used. Maybe you have smaller one with not so much uh, values. And the last one, is the deformation. So if we go to the results and we go to 3D deformations, I go back to 3D, uh, control Q to see the full structure. And then if you want to display, for example, the buckling shape or the, or the natural frequency, the shape of the natural frequency, then you can, uh, you can use a standard, you get uh, some, some colors. But very often I get structures where, where something is not right connected and then you have some big deformations. And if you have a big structure, then you don't see it. So you can use clipping box, for example, and look where you have the maximum values. But what you can do is to change these settings to, uh, to, to colored mesh. And then you see everything in the structure. Uh, maybe not the correct color because I have used minimum, maximum. But I like the displaying with one color. So if you need it, then you can go to minimum, maximum, set some small value, 0, 0, 1 or 0, 1 for maximum. So everything about the maximum will get this dark red color. And then you see everything in one color, maybe for somebody better. I know it from the old version, so I like this, uh, these settings. So I go back, turn off, turn off the maximum. Okay. I forgot one thing. If I go to the results, to the results, back to in notes, maybe you want to see only black ISO lines with labels. Then you have one nice possibility. Uh, we can go back to field. That's okay. I change the minimum maximum, for example, from minus 70 to plus 30. Oh, 30. Use this. Then, in this case, uh, we have limited min max. Oh, advanced settings and change the field. That's field. That's, ah, okay. My mistake. Sorry. Uh, this is extreme only. The standard is standard. So this is standard setting, which you get from top view. But if you want to see only the ISO lines, then you can play a little bit with these settings and look what happened. You can change it to extreme only. Then you get only these extreme values and everything between them is with black labeled ISO lines without inserted ISO lines. And maybe also without the mesh, then you get a clean, clean picture if you want to have really 
black and white picture only with ISO lines, only with numbers, without the insert to ISO, ISO lines. So you have a lot of possibilities how to display the results. So I hope it's useful for somebody. Thank you very much for watching.